Hello, how's it going? Rudism here, I hope you're doing very well. I decided to make a little video to show you exactly how I get uh, Rocket League working with my guitar controller. It's something I love doing a lot, and I do it a lot on the stream, as people who visit will know. But I always get a lot of people that are new that come in and they ask me how I get it all, you know, set up. And I give them a pretty basic description, but I never really go into any serious detail. Um, so I decided to do that. Um, I've made a little image with all the layouts, so you can have a look at it. Um, I'll post a link in the description as well. You can, uh, you know, pause it if you like to have a good look. Um, but I thought I'd also make a little video too, just to get into a few of the little intricacies about it, because there's some things you need to know. So what you'll need is copy your Rocket League, a Guitar Hero guitar or some, of some sort. Rock Band will work too, I'm sure. Um, and an Xbox controller, or some other controller. Anything that has those buttons on it, I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> now, important things that you need to know before we do this. Um, basically, I'm sure this will make sense to you, but every input on this guitar equates to an input on the controller. So what I mean by that is, for instance, the whammy bar here actually works like the horizontal axis of the right thumbstick. So if I push the whammy bar all the way in, it translates to going completely right on the right thumbstick. If I let go, it's the same as going completely left on the thumbstick. If I want the thumbstick to generate no input at all, I have to keep it in perfect balance, which is one of the tricky things about playing Rocket League with a guitar. Um, similarly, the tilt on the guitar is up and down on the right thumbstick, and the strum bar is up and down on the D-pad. That's basically how, that's basically the main sort of weird things you need to know about, you need to know are. Um, oh, the other thing too, the orange button is the left bumper, and then sort of A, B, Y, X are all as you'd expect, because, you know, all color coded and, coded and whatnot. And then you've got back and start. And those are basically the controls you need to know. So, with further ado, without further ado, I should say, we'll get into it. Now, first thing you want to do is connect your controller to Rocket League. Do not connect your guitar first. This is very important for reasons I'll get into. But what we want to do is map, or plug in your controller. And we want to go into our controls menu and options. So to start with, we'll just go to defaults because they've got most of the controls set up that we already need. So the key things you need to change. Drive forward needs to be mapped to the right direction on the right thumbstick. This is very important. So this will be equating to when you push down on the whammy bar, the car will drive forward. So if you do it the other way around, it's basically you just let go of the, uh, let go of the whammy bar for the car to drive forward. Maybe you want to do that. I personally do it this way. Um, so that's how you drive forward and backwards. Steering right. If you want to steer right, you go down on the D-pad. So this is the same as strumming down on the guitar. Similarly, steering left is up on the D-pad. So if you go up on the strum bar, car will turn left. Uh, let's see, what else have we got? Jump, boost, power slide are all the same. So to jump, you use the green button. Boost is red. Power slide is blue. And skip replay is green. Uh, air steer right and air steer left. We map these to be exactly the same inputs as... Steering left and right normally. It's the same as using a regular controller. So air steer right is down. Air steer left is up on the D-pad. Air pitch up and down. Now here's where things get a bit different. So one of the main sort of principles, one of the things I do in Rocket Guitar League, <laughs> to make things a bit simpler, is that I map the acceleration and reverse to the whammy bar, but I also map the air tilt forward and back. So basically what that lets me do is if I want to forward flip to get some speed, I can just hold down on the whammy bar and just tap jump jump so that will make me flip. Um, so I map forward flip to the same input as acceleration and I map the you know back flip to the same input as reverse. So to do that we want to go pitch so pitch up is how you go backwards so we want to map that to left on the right thumbstick. Um, very important to get these things uh, nailed down. Now, if you test this out and you find that, you know, your flipping is kind of weird and you're accelerating reverse, just play around. Maybe watch again if they're not quite the way that you want them to work. But um, you will get them right eventually. Okay, so to air roll right and left, we want to... Uh, let's see. To air roll right and left, we want to map those to the same as... Actually, hang on a second. Now think about it, I don't think we actually map those at all, because that is taken care of by 
the uh, up and down on this drum bar anyway, because we've already mapped that to air stair right and left. So if you want to air roll, you hold down blue, just like you'd hold down X, and then just go up down on the strum bar, and that will do exactly the same thing. Um, camera swivel. Now we want to completely get rid of these maps, because we've got them currently mapped to the right stick, and that makes things very difficult when you're trying to accelerate, reverse, all that stuff. Um, makes things very annoying to look at. So I just completely unmap my camera swivel. I don't use it at all. I find that it's not really that important as long as you have ball cam mapped, which we've already got mapped to Y, or yellow in our case. So I think it's totally fine. Now, rear view. Um, this is normally mapped to right stick click, which we don't have access to on the guitar. So we map this to back button. So this is the back button here on the guitar. Very easy to use when you're just playing because you can just hit it with the heli hand. It's very good for getting those start boosts off the, um, off the countdown. Scoreboard will keep it exactly the same because it's already mapped to left bumper, which is the orange button on the guitar. So we don't have to worry about that. Um, this stuff we don't have to worry about really. Text chat, um, I typically unmap because I just use keyboard to do that. It's fine. Um, what else have we got? The quick chat. This is something we also have to unmap, which I'm very sad about because when I play the game, I love to give a thank you or something like that. And it's very hard because... Um, when you when you map it to, you know, up and down on the D-pad, that's the same as the strum bar. So you'd be quit chatting whenever you turn, which really sucks. Resetting the shot. We'll map that to left bumper. I just like it for training. I can just hit orange whenever I want to reset. Um, whether or not you want to use that's up to you. Save replay, I typically unmap because I just remind myself to save replays later on. And that should be all of the controls you need. Now... Um, we don't need to test this on the controller because we've already got it all set up. So what we do, disconnect the controller. Um, we also connect the guitar. Now, I might have to do a cut here because things get a little bit tricky. But we'll see how we go. Okay, there we go. Cool. Now, other thing you have to worry about when you're just in menus and stuff is the tilt will sort out your, uh, your rotating of the camera and so will the whammy bars. So, just something to keep in mind. Now let's just go into a training here. Okay. So let's test this out. I'm keeping the w trying to keep the whammy bar in perfect balance so that it sort of keeps still, but if we want to accelerate, we just push down on the whammy. If we want to reverse, we let go. So this is just completely hands-free as, as default reverse state. Something to keep in mind when you're, uh, when you're playing. If we want to flip forward, we just keep the whammy held down and jump. And that's it. And then we can boost with the red. We can ball cam with yellow. Uh, blue lets us slide, but if we're in the air, we can do our air rolls. If we let go, we'll just do a regular spin. And then, uh, orange is your reset button. And yeah, we got the strum bar for steering left and right, the back button to look behind us. That is basically how Rocket League on a guitar works. <laughs> so now you can give it a go for yourself. It's a lot of fun. Highly recommend it. Um, yeah, I like it. <laughs> So I think I'll do a few more of these kinds of videos in the future for other games and control schemes. So if you like what you see, you know, be sure to follow along and let me know. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a good day. Chaos Club.